Hello, hello, everybody. Hopefully you can hear and see me, my bag right here in my fingers. All right, just getting myself situated. There we go. All right, I will give you guys another minute or so, see if anybody else joins before we crack into this. All right, let's see. I've yeah, got all my little triangles over here so that I'm ready. This looks like there's going to be quite a bit of small beads this time around. Let me see. I need to check something on my settings. Just one second. lot going on over here this morning. How's everybody doing? It looks like a couple more people have joined. Are you guys sorting with me? Hey, Anastasia or Anastasia, however you pronounce it. <laughs> Beautiful name. I love seeing some familiar names popping up on these chats. Hey, <laughs> good morning to you. Is anybody sorting with me? I'd love to know if anybody is sorting the unicorn mix. Okay, had a little glitch here in my phone. It said it had to reconnect. So hopefully we're all still here. Oh man. So where is everybody from? I'd love to know where you guys are, what you're up to. All right. No, I, I did announce it, uh, Anastasia. I put it on my community tab. So if you guys haven't already, you can get updates. I think if you hit the bell, if I update the community tab, it will give you guys an alert. So I try to post there. I put something on my Instagram stories, too. It was a few days ago. I know you guys were like, oh, no, I don't want to wait till Saturday. I want you to jump right in and do it. <laughs> Arizona, California. Australia, oh my goodness. Awesome, Lorraine, Jeannie, Laura, Violet. Welcome everybody. We will get started because there's going to be a lot to sort. So definitely let me know. Hey, Bo. Good to see you guys. Lots of familiar names. Um, but yeah, it looks like there's going to be a lot of smaller beads to me. Uh, smaller, like there's not as many larger beads kind of taking up more space. So just on first glance, it looks like it's going to be a lot of maybe smaller piles. Like if you remember the last one I did with all the greens, it was a lot of beads, but smaller types, you know, quantities. So I had lots of overflowing bead trays. So we'll see. All right. So oh, I hope you feel better, Anastasia. <laughs> Indiana, Wisconsin, got a couple from Wisconsin at least. Look at these colors, oh my goodness. So is anybody sorting the unicorn mix with me today? Or are you sorting something else? Are you doing something else? Love to know. Oh, these colors are so pretty. I, I had a feeling this was gonna win out <laughs> out of the four, I just had a feeling. Montana, Pennsylvania, we got people from all over the place, it's awesome. All right, so I'm thinking this will take maybe 45 to 60-ish minutes, so I'm planning to be on here till about noon, we'll see how it goes, I have no idea. This is just like us hanging out, having some fun, sorting some beads, chatting a little bit. I'm gonna do my best to look over at the chat as much as I can. Of course, it moves kind of fast, and so I'm going to be sorting and looking over there and trying to respond at the same time. We'll just see how it goes. It's all right. All right. So, oh, sewing masks. Yes, Mary, my mom, uh, <laughs> she's a seamstress. She sewed us all masks. Uh, good to have that skill. I know a lot of people are doing that right now. But, uh, no, I'm glad you all could join me. I know we're a lot of us, most of us are kind of, stuck or should say safe at home right now. So I thought it would be a great opportunity to 
kind of just, you know, have, have a little hangout. Let's sort and go through this together. Um, by the way, if I didn't already say it at the beginning of the video, this is the unicorn mix, although you can see that from the title. And I have left the link to this mix down below, uh, as well as a coupon code. So Orchid 2 will save you $2 off your purchase, but you do have to be a subscriber or a member of dollarbeadbox.com in order to purchase. So just letting you guys know that this is the sixth one that I am sorting. And the other ones have been great. Uh, they are $24 normally on the site. And, you know, I just think it's fun to be able to bring these to you guys to show you what's inside since maybe you've been on the site and you're like, I have no idea what is actually in there. You get a little thumbnail image, but that's it. Lots of these silver spikes in the unicorn mix. Lots of silver spikes. So I guess those are like our unicorn horns over there. So the other thing I wanted to mention too was I am going to try to compile this footage. I should be able to download it. And I'm going to try to put the video back together uh, like I normally do. You know, where I speed it up a little bit. So those who don't want to sit through the whole thing, um, you know, or want to see it sped up. I know some people really liked when I would sort it and then speed it up, put it to music, and you can kind of get the full effect in more of like, you know, 12 to 15 minutes as opposed to an hour. But I think if you're here, you probably want to hang out, so that's a good thing. Those are some nice chunky crystals. Did you guys notice you can see the AB finish on those? Those are really pretty. Good chunky fire polish. Very, very nice. Those were, uh, looks like the largest beads in this mix right here. Like I was saying, it looks like a lot of smaller beads. So, and a lot of different types of beads. So I don't know. We'll see. I'm going to grab these blue ones here. And maybe there will be a couple more in there. These are pretty. I did notice that there's some overlap in some of these one pound mixes, which is interesting. Not a bad thing for sure, because with some of them, if there were only a couple in one and then some more showed up in another mix, then I could put them together, so that worked out. And then some, uh, you know, you'd find similar finishes or colors in one mix, and then they would kind of jive with another mix, so that was pretty cool too. So, oh man, I love seeing where you guys are from. Like, we've got such a mix here from all over the place. That's awesome. Thank you guys so much for joining me. All right, so this is my first announced live for anybody who doesn't know. Uh, I had a impromptu live, aren't these gorgeous, about almost a month ago, not quite. And I had never done one before. That was more of a test just to see how this would all work, if my equipment would work, which when I say equipment, it's basically my phone and my computer so that I can see you guys chatting while I'm doing this. So it's it's working out pretty good. Got some more of these crystals. These bags are so deceiving. It's amazing what is actually in here when you sort all these out. I'm a big fan of these. Of course, you guys know I love the color. Put these up close like those little pillow beads or cushion beads, those little rounded, kind of irregular shaped beads with the beautiful lavender and white striations. Those are gorgeous. Very, very pretty. I'm going to scoop this up a little bit, and that way I think there's less of a shadow there. All right. Let's see here, some hearts, oh my goodness, those are pretty, they're partially clear and then partially they've got the milky white and it's interesting they've got the holes going through the top, I have never seen these before, that's pretty cool, 
Oh my goodness. Has anybody gotten a unicorn mix before? I know I had gotten some comments before of uh, at least one person who had gotten it. And she had told me that they had a lot of those spike beads inside because of, you know, the unicorn theme. So, I, you know, it's funny, I expected a lot more, but, but we just have the silver ones. These are interesting, these rings. Let's see if there's any more jumping out at me. There we go. These are pretty cool. That's interesting. And then again, they've got that minty kind of seafoam color, but then they have, there's like a white stripe inside the glass running through that. Of course, the extra large hole. Very interesting. So you could pop these on a chain even, you know, something larger than just eating bread. All right, we've got a few leaves. Uh, let's see, there it is. Any more jumping out at me? Three. All right, so let's look at these. Always love the leaves. Not that many, though. Here's another one. Here's a fourth one. Oh, that the pinch bead earrings. Yes, good question. I did film the video. So I do plan, let me see. Let me look over. Um, gosh, I don't even know what day it is anymore. It's so sad. So I think I'm going to post it Monday or Tuesday, Kristen. I think that's my plan so far. I, I haven't edited the video or anything. Got a lot to do uh, with that, but... It is filmed, and it's it's a pretty quick project, so uh, it should be pretty soon that I will be able to get that out to you guys. Let's see. What do I want to do next? Some of these pink squares, maybe. These are interesting. This is another one that overlapped. Is it the lotus mix? They're kind of running together. A lot of these type, though, with the pastel colors, the pink and the mint, especially with those uh, milky, you know, white, no opaque colors inside the clear. Very cool. I'm going to start putting some of these in some of these triangles. There we go. Move some of these things out of the way. All right. There we go. Okay. Now, move these big pink ones. Move a straggler. All right. Yeah, if you guys have any other questions for me, anything you want to ask the others, feel free. You know, because I don't do these lives very often. And, uh, oh my gosh, I'm interrupting myself. Because, because look, look at these huge pinch beads. <laughs> these are massive. Oh my goodness. Wow. That's really cool. I love the color though. They've got a luster on them. Those are so pretty. I only see four so far. Oh man, I'm going to have a lot of piles. That's the only thing. I, I love it when there's less piles and more of each. That's okay. So there's lots of really pretty things in here. Just looking for some more of these little hearts. There's some squares again. Probably going to need a need triangle for these. All right. There we go. Okay. That's cool. Let me know what you guys are up to. My chat has stopped, so I don't know if you guys are just being quiet or if I'm having an issue <laughs> with viewing you guys. All right, there we go. I see Dolores. Uh, let me see. Yeah, the bargain bead box for April, that's a great question. So I actually, and I'm sure a lot of you guys did too, saw that the bargain bead box, they sent out an email. There's been a lot of delay because of the COVID situation. So understandably, you know, there's just been a lot of issues with getting all the items needed for the boxes. So she's been updating 
uh, pretty good with email, and I'm not sure, you know, through their social media if she's been doing that, but they're, they're getting those out as soon as they can, and hopefully, hopefully pretty soon we'll see those. I know that uh, they're probably already very much uh, in the works for May's shipment, trying to make sure they can get that one out on time. So it's got to be it's got to be a stressful situation. I know they're uh, they're working really hard. So hopefully we'll get that soon. And of course, I cannot wait to share it because that is such a great box. Oh my goodness, it's so fun. But it's going to be weird getting it so late. So I will still plan to, uh, you know, do the best I can, try to make some things to share. So that'll be fun. We'll see how that goes. It's always a surprise. You just never know what colors you're going to get, what theme. Hey, Esther. Good to have you. Hi, Linda. Let's see. I'm reading your question now. Bead soup. Yeah, that's definitely a great question. That's something I'm always thinking about, you know, because we always end up with these odds and ends. And I, I did a video, I want to say it was over a year ago, and it was a finished jewelry update, but it was all like what to do with the random beads. And so I shared some examples and some ideas of some things you could do with them. And, you know, it's certainly when you kind of think about it, there's a lot you can do with them. You know, you can, I think, one thing I did was I would sort by colors. These are really pretty. So, like, if you have just a bag of random beads, you can kind of separate, like, all your blues, all your pinks, all your greens. You can do something color-coordinated. But, you know, even if they're random beads, if you are using the same kind of color story, you can make them look more cohesive in pieces. So, it kind of looks more intentional than if you just threw things together. So that's one thing you can do. Hey, Maria from Sweden. Great to have you. Donna, I don't know. Is anybody else experiencing problems with my sound? Let me know because I can't hear it. <laughs> hey, Sylvia. I'm so glad to have you. Hi, CJ. Yes, yes, that email they sent yesterday. Yep, that they sent them. To, yeah, so... So CJ is saying that they uh, released the packages to the shipper. So we should be seeing those bar bargain bee boxes soon. Oh, no, there's a crackling sound. I don't know. I have no background noise going on that I can hear. So I will have to um, take a look at that, you know, after the fact, because there's really nothing I can do. I am filming on my phone. And I don't have any other, you know, strange noises going on on my end, but we'll see. I've got my computer mute muted. Okay, a buzzing. Huh. And it didn't seem to do that the last time, and I'm, I'm set up the same, so I'm not really sure. No, there's no air conditioner or anything running. No, like, background buzzing. It's like, it's really quiet where I am. So it's just strange. Hmm, battery power. Okay. Let's see. Is my voice, am I closer now? Let's see. Yeah, pretty hearts. I'm loving the hearts. These are like little beehives right here. Well, I'm glad you can sort of hear me. I do apologize if there is annoying noise. I know that's not fun. So sorry about that. I, I don't know. I'll have to keep analyzing what's going on to uh, see what that, what that is on the replay, so I can hear it and figure that out. But um, nothing obvious. Okay, good. These are so pretty. They have the coating on them too. Oh, those are nice. But yeah. Anyway, bead soup. I, I think that's always a fun topic. Like, if you just search bead soup, you know, Google it or something, there's always a lot of fun ideas that come up. Here's more of those rings. It's actually quite a few. There you go. And then, of course, you know, the other thing when you don't have very many beads is 
earrings, you know, because technically if you were to match them, they would uh, only require like two of the same, potentially, or you don't even have to do them the same as long as they, you know, coordinate in a way that, uh, you know, makes it look intentional. And uh, also putting them, putting the beads onto like wire wrapped links and putting them together you know, that's a great way to do it. You can do those with all different colors and just keep your wire the same color. You know, try to maybe coordinate, like, your bead size. You know, instead of going by color, you can say, well, I'm going to do, like, a bead soup type project with beads that are all, you know, between 2 to 4 millimeters or something like that. So, thank you, Tammy. Thank you guys for being patient with me. It's just hard, you know, when I don't have anything obvious that's jumping out at me as to why there would be a sound issue. But we'll figure it out. I'm glad you can still hear me. And hopefully I'm a, I've moved a little bit closer. So hopefully that helped. I don't know if I shared these yet. So there's these two kind of organically shaped discs. They have silver on the back and they're like backlit. These are really pretty. Some teal and purple in there. I only see two. Okay. Yes, wire crochet. That's a great suggestion. If anybody has any other suggestions on the bead soup, definitely share. I think it's great when we can all kind of learn from each other. Just get ideas, you know, bounce ideas off each other. So any questions you have like that too, definitely take the time while you're around friends and you're around others who love doing similar things. And, you know, we can come up with some great ideas. These are very cool. They're uh, kind of, they're not around, they're not a bicone, they're like a rounded bicone. Very pretty. All right. Yes, so Sue, if you're talking about these or the backlit ones that I just shared, they are all, so far all of these have been one whole beads. So I haven't seen any two whole yet. I know there, uh, there were a few two whole in some of these, but so far these are just one whole check glass beads. Oh, these are tiny, tiny, tiny. I'm looking for some, uh, some larger ones here. Got the camp, the uh, phone in my face, so I'm like peeking under my phone. These are pretty though. Lots of gorgeous ones. So I know I'm not gonna be able to finish this in an hour with like talking and you know taking our time here. That's okay. And um, you know if you join later, like I said, I'm going to try to take this footage and condense it down into the normal video that I that I do with the sorting. And even if I can't, you know, I can just redo the sort and condense it. It's not a big deal. There's more of these than I expected. There we go. So Sue, these are $24 on dollarbeadbox.com. And you need to be a member or a subscriber of dollarbeadbox.com of one of their subscriptions in order to purchase these silver beads. These are long, these are one hole. Very cool. All right. So let's see. Portugal, hello. Glad to have you. California, thank you for letting me know where you're from. I love that. I love having such a diverse group here. That's so awesome. Um, let's see, Katie, if I, I'm sorry if I'm pronouncing the name incorrectly, first of all. Uh, new advice for somebody who's new to jewelry making. Stringing is cool, but bead weaving is daunting. Yeah, absolutely. I would start with just something really, really basic. Like, you know, even a daisy chain. Um, I haven't done that on my channel. I do have a flat spiral uh, bracelet tutorial. That's a great place to start if you're looking to get into bead weaving. I think just 
not being afraid to make mistakes because we all still do. Um, I make mistakes all the time. You know, I, I'll do uh, the same thing over and over again and make a mistake. And I'm like, oh man, I gotta take that out. I gotta start this over again. You know, but that's just part of the process. So I would say just take your time. Don't be afraid to make mistakes. Start very small. So something extremely simple, you know, like a daisy chain or a flat spiral. There's so many beginner uh, bead weaving projects out there, and I would just say build on that. Also, maybe just start out with seed beads. Don't get wrapped up in the fact that there are 10 bajillion different shapes <laughs> and sizes and multiple holes and all these crazy things. Um, start with seed beads. Just take that one little block and build upon it. You know, once you're comfortable with those, maybe move to something else that you can add in with the seed beads. Um, but yeah, just, just take it small, take it one piece at a time. Don't mess with any multi-hole beads or anything like that. Go with something very common, something familiar, you know, and go from there. These are so pretty. Look at those pink and white beads. Oh my goodness. Yeah, those are gorgeous. Looks like there's probably going to be a lot of those. I'll put those in a triangle. There we go. Put that over there. Okay. So is anybody sorting today? I don't think I saw anybody say they were sorting anything. Or are you beating? Are you making anything while you're watching, hanging out? Love to know what you guys are up to. These are those uh, pennant shaped beads with the hole running through the top. And they're kind of frosted, they're matte, they're not really shiny. Very pretty. A nice handful of those so far, and I see a lot more too. So I'll put this in. Oh, you're working on a necklace. Awesome. Are you bead weaving or are you stringing or something else? Oh, awesome. Audrea, that's great. I was hoping some of you guys would be uh, sorting with me or organizing. I think that's just, you know, a good thing to do while you're doing something else or listening to something else makes the time go by faster. All right, especially when you're doing something kind of mindless. I know some people just do not like doing this kind of thing, but I find it relaxing. I don't know. You're weaving. Very cool. Are you uh, making a specific pattern? Are you doing your own thing? All right. Yeah, thanks for your suggestion, Sue. I, I love that. Starting with sea beads, you know, just, yeah, and then going from there. Let's see. What else? Um... I don't know if I had seen this one. I don't see it over here. I'm going to stick that one over there. Seeing a lot of these little pink flowers, so I'm going to start picking those up. Let's see. Yeah, there's a lot of them. Once you start digging around, these little guys, those are pretty too. Everything you do is mindless. No, Mary. Oh my goodness. You are too funny. <laughs> I don't know. I don't, I feel that way sometimes, especially right now. I feel like my brain is just mush. I'm like having to work extra hard to figure out basic things right now. Trying to hold my, hold it together and figure out how to homeschool a fourth grader. So that's been interesting. Oh my goodness. It's nice to have him home. We love him. And he might be watching right now. So if he is, I'm going to give him a little wave. <laughs> All right, I'm going to put these in a container. There we go. All right. I think there's some clear ones. Yeah, there's some clear ones too. 
Let's see. Yeah, that one jumped in there. There we go. All right. Yeah, tubular herringbone. There's just so many different stitches, too, with just seed beads that you can learn. There's some great spiral stitches. The uh, Russian spiral. You got the chenille stitch. That's a good one, too. Because you can do that one with just seed beads. Uh, and I do have a tutorial. Look up chenille stitch. And it's like this tube that you can make. And I turned it into a necklace, but you can, you can do anything with it. You can turn it into uh, a bracelet. You can make lariats with those. But what's great about those is that it's, it's such a nice way to learn bead weaving because you only need, say, seed beads. And you're doing the same thing over and over again. So once you get the procedure, the process down for something like, say, chenille stitch, then you really feel a lot more confident in that, you know, because you're just repeating the same thing. It's the same step over and over again. And you're just growing that chenille stitch rope, you know, and... You don't have to learn anything different or figure out, you know, multiple steps to what you're doing. So definitely that's a great one. If anyone else has any other suggestions they'd like to add, definitely feel free because there are so many options like that. And, I and I'm planning to bring you more, you know. I've got a lot a lot of different things going on but I'm trying to sprinkle in some basics you know in in between the the crazier shapes the uh, more exotic shapes you know trying to bring a little bit more of that in so that's why I started doing like the brick stitch uh, because there's just so much you can do with those basic building blocks there's the clear flowers there we go. Yes, Sue, look up chenille stitch. I did a video, oh, it was over a year ago. And it's a necklace with a chenille stitch tube. But I show you how to do the chenille stitch. And you can apply that to all different things, like I was saying. So it was, it's a fun one. I think that was, a, like, it was a black and white seed bead combination that I did. Thanks, Maria. I love being able to share finished pieces. So I love seeing your your finished pieces. You know, every time you guys will post something to me, or sometimes I'll get an email, and you know, it's it's fun. It's fun to be able to share that with others who get it, who who are interested in that. Because honest, I don't know anybody in my personal life that beads. I, I hadn't growing up. I don't know anybody now. So it's nice to be able to, to share those things. Oh, Diana, that sounds nice. Thank you so much. That is so sweet. Oh, that sounds like you have an amazing view. That is wonderful. It's kind of started out cloudy where I am in Virginia. We're having a, a cloudy morning. It's very pretty, very lush. All the greeneries coming out. These are pretty. Oh, man. What was that crystal? Looming a bracelet based on the pattern of my bathroom tile. I love it. That is cool. Oh, man. Hi, Christy. Hi, Pat. Oh, awesome. I love seeing these familiar names. I can't say faces, but your names. I do... I do recognize, you know, hearing from you, especially, you know, certain ones I know who have been here for such a long time, so it's, it's so nice to see you coming back, and I always love to see your comments and hear from you. These are interesting. These are like little twisted, interesting, I don't know, but they're cool. Let's see if there's any more in here. Let's see. The 
is interesting. Here's a flower. I don't see another one of those. But I do know I've seen that in another one of these mixes. That's what I was saying. They kind of overlap a little bit sometimes. It's like just digging for treasure over here. Hi, Lisa. <laughs> All right, let's see. What do I want to pick up? Oh, I don't know. Is this supposed to be like that? I don't know. Interesting. I don't see any more. I'm going to set that one over here. Here's some of these. Some other ones are starting. Once you sort through, some, some other shapes start to jump out that you didn't really notice before. It's funny how that works when you clear out some of these. There we go. But this is a beautiful mix of colors. I'm glad you guys chose this one. Here's those. Just clear. They're pretty. Let me set them over there. I'm starting to set some things over a little further since I'm running out of space. All right. Some of these. There is. Oh, I saw another one. Oh, well. So these little guys, they could be like little leaves. Oh, yes, I know, Pat. You have, and I appreciate it. <laughs> You've been with me a long time. <laughs> it's always great to hear from you. You make me think with your comments, and you always have a lot of valuable insight to add. I always appreciate that. <laughs> Dolores, you're either bead weaving or crocheting. Um, Natalie, so they are always available, these mixes, on dollarbeadbox.com. They've been available for a long, long time. And there's all different color mixes and uh, they're all $24. I don't know that they've ever been on sale. I haven't personally seen them on sale, but Dollar Bead Box does put out some coupons once in a while. If you are a member or subscriber, I think, I think that you're automatically on right now for like, I think it's $5 off, but I don't know the code. So if anybody knows the code, feel free to post it in the chat. Go right ahead. That is perfectly fine. Um, I do know that sometimes they're not good off of these uh, bulk items or mixes or uh, anything in their special deal section. So you'll have to check the fine print on that and see if that code is good. But I feel like something came recently in the email. So, hi Estella from Korea. I'm so glad to have you. Oh my goodness. Erica from Ontario. You guys, that's awesome. All right, so we got these little kind of cone, pyramid, not cone, pyramid shaped beads here. Very cool. I like how we uh, get, you know, different shapes of these little pastel beads. You know, because even if you don't get a whole pan of one shape, at least they're they're very uh, coordinated color story. These are pretty nice little cubes. Montreal, Quebec, Canada. Awesome. What would I rather do, string bead weaving or wire wrapping and or loom? Hands down, bead weaving. That is what I love to do. I love bead weaving, having a needle and thread in my hand, and I just, you know, I, I love how endless the combinations are, and especially that's why you see a lot of the uh, different beads popping up now. At first, you know, a couple years ago, I'm like, why do I need to delve into all these multi-hole beads? It's just so much, you know, they're just like it's never ending you know it's just it, it's over complicating things <laughs> honestly that's how I felt um but now that I've played with them more it's just I think it's fun for me like I get in the zone and I get to play with these different shapes and it makes my brain uh think in a different way like how can this fit together what would make this work and I love that challenge that is my favorite thing to do so if I'm looking for something mindless, 
you know, I love to do uh, bead weaving from, say, some form of pattern, you know, something that's already established. But if I'm looking to maybe utilize my beads that I have or think of something in a different way, sometimes I get in that, that uh, zone and I love it. There's more of these little pennants. There we go. Uh, do you just do simple stringing with these different shapes of single whole beads? Yeah, I mean, you could for sure, especially, you know, some of these that are, I'm trying to look for an example, like the hearts. So that's something, not to say you couldn't bead weave, you certainly could. But, you know, I'd be more drawn to doing a stringing project with these for sure. Most of them, really, especially if you plan to use these together. And if you plan to use the color story together to come up with a project. But there's so many different things in here. Like, these little teeny tiny pink hearts are now jumping out at me now that I've cleared some other things out of the way. And um, I guess, you know, unless you're, you are into experimenting with the different shapes, you know, you're probably going to do more bead stringing with a mix like this, unless you're a little bit more adventurous and you're the type of person that wants to sit down and say, how could I turn these little hearts into a bead weaving project? You know, if you have a lot of experience in that and that's something you really like to do, then you can definitely take something like this and turn them into a bead weaving project. But I think that most people, and I could be wrong, probably take these and do more stringing projects. So I think we're just, we, we all like different things. And, you know, you can certainly take these and, and do all sorts of different bead crafting with them, not just stringing, not just bead weaving, all sorts of different projects. It's just what you want to do with them, what, you know, what makes you happy. So, hey Maggie, let's see the Oh yeah, that was a challenge, wasn't it? Oh my goodness. That was different. That was different. It was nice to be able to come up with some things to share. And I did like working with some some different things, some brighter colors, if we hadn't had one like that at all. But uh, definitely was not easy. It was not easy. But I did like the theme. I thought it was a really cute theme. The uh, yellow and lime green. And it's nice that they mix it up. Let's see. I'm going to scroll up on the chat here because I think I might have missed something. Let's see. There's 50 gram packages of these mixes with Japanese seed beads for $4. I just ordered four of them with some other findings. And the coupon did work. Cool. Five, do five off 35. Five off 35 is the coupon. And so what Danny was saying, welcome by the way. Um, is that they are the smaller, they're smaller packs, similar to these mixes with sea beads. So that's another great option too. I haven't personally gotten those before, but that's pretty cool. Some more rings. There we go. You work with wire and chains, Maria. Yes. Oh, I, I admire the work that you guys do too. I, I love seeing it. I mean, there's just so much talent here and so much creativity. And I know some of you are awesome wire uh, workers, which is just, it's not my specialty. Like I, I love bead weaving. That's what I love to do. And I, I struggle more with the wire. It just, it, you know, we're all different. We all are drawn to different things and that's, something that I have more of a challenge with than maybe others. Some of you, you know, might just feel like, well, why are so much easier than be leaving? You know, we're, we're just all different. And it's great to see what everybody's interested in. These are cool. So they're flat on both sides. And there's some faceting. And there's some color coming through. It looks like maybe there's an AB finish. Yeah, there's a coating on that. Those are cute. There's four of them at least. That's cool. Yes, Pat, there are shells. 
There are, I picked up a couple of them earlier. These light minty green sea foam shells. Very pretty. Lots of really nice things when you start digging around in here. You know, at first you see this <laughs> random <laughs> bag of stuff and it's just like, what? But then when you sort it out, I love seeing all the different things that come out of these bags. And then I can take these and separate them. There's some little flat discs. There's a hole in the center. Hey, Jeanette. Welcome. I'm glad to provide a little distraction. If nothing else, uh, I hope this is just a distraction because it's kind of hard right now. I mean, it just is. So, you know, I'm glad to be able to do this. So many of us are just kind of hanging around. And I figure, well, now's the time. And, you know, usually, uh, you know, we're in a rush. We're more in a rush, a lot of us, to move from one thing to the next. And instead of taking the time to just sit and hang out and chat, so I don't normally do a lot of these types of things and glad to be able to do it at least during this time we can kind of slow down for a minute there's some little squares let's see oh I'm sorry Kristen if you had asked that a question earlier I missed it I I'm missing some of your questions because I'm trying to look at you know different things at once so if I miss your question don't be afraid to repeat it um let's see would you consider doing a video of half Tila hair and bone? You know, I I am considering it actually. That's funny you mentioned that. It's like on my short list of some things I want to do. So yeah, definitely. I will I will keep that in mind, and especially since you asked, because I know that you at least have interest in it. <laughs> so yeah, be on the lookout. I'm. I'm trying to um, bring some of those into some videos too eventually. It's just there's so many shapes to work with and it takes time to, to get through all those things, you know? So you guys know, just stick with me for the long haul and eventually I'll get around to all these different things hopefully. Just take some time. But the, uh, the half teal of herringbone, I actually had uh, been looking that up recently, and I hadn't done anything with the Tila's or the half Tila's, and so it is definitely on my radar, so thank you for asking. Let's see, um, when you think of unicorns, you think of the clear beads, yes. I think of AB finish, and I think all these colors to me kind of, kind of speak to the theme. Uh, let's see, yes. Lindy, I, I feel like I'm a pirate going through my, my treasure here. Yes. Let's see. What would you do with the spikes and cones? That's something where, you know, you could get as simple or as creative as you wanted. I'm more of, like, I would use these more of, and that's just because it's my personal style, but, like, on the bottom of a necklace. So I would use them kind of like a drop. But you could get really creative. You could use them as like, you know, a spiky component in a bracelet if you wanted to do, wanted to do that. Like, uh, I believe there's some bead weaving patterns that utilize those spikes that way. You could even use them in a beaded bezel. And you could use them as, you know, a spiky component coming out of a round shape. Kind of think of like a sun with the spikes coming out. So those are just some examples. If nothing else, if you just string them, then you know you could just have them as a strung component and they would just add another shape and dimension. So. Oh, you're so sweet, Anastasia. Oh yeah, freeform peyote. Those would be cool. Those would be cool. I haven't done much with the freeform peyote. I think uh, Eureka. Crystal Beads just put out something recently, and I didn't watch it. I saw the thumbnail, and it was for that big agate slice pendant. That was pretty cool. 
Have any of you guys worked with that yet? I have, and I just haven't shared it. I haven't had a chance. And I don't have it within uh, reach. I used, I'm not that happy with it. I'm kind of thinking I might take it apart, but it, I spent so much time on that thing that I'm just, I needed to put it in the corner. <laughs> Do you ever get like that? <laughs> You're just like, okay, I need to move on from this. It's just sucking, sucking my energy. I love it though. I, I think it is gorgeous. I just needed to move on from it and separate. I'm kind of, you know, I'm kind of happy with what I did, but I, I would have liked it to be a little cleaner. Like I said, wire is just not my specialty for today. Oh man. Yeah, organizing my beads. I know. That's a popular question. So I've done a couple smaller videos. Uh, my main thing is that I have that wall system. If you haven't seen that, just look up uh, my wall organization. And I have these clear acrylic racks that hold uh, the beads in small clear containers. They're like Tic Tac containers. And those are mainly for my specialty shapes. So like these, like the ones I'm sorting right now, that would be more of what I would put in those containers. I have a different system for my seed beads. I have like a drawer system. It's just a small, basic rolling cart. Uh, hey, Don, thank you for joining. And uh, so I kind of have different systems for different beads. Like I, I am really visual. So I personally don't like to hide all these specialty shapes and things away. I like to see what I have because I'm the type of person, if I don't see it, I'm going to forget about it. It's going to sit in a drawer. It's going to sit in a container. And, you know, I don't want that to happen. And I also want to be able to see how I can coordinate things together. So it helps me to be able to grab a tube, say, off my wall. And then I can take that tube and put it up to, to something over there or, you know, just kind of match things up that way. So that works for me. I think storage and organization is so personal. You know, we have to find the system that works for us because there's no one size fits all. And uh, even for the different types of beads that I have, like I, it's kind of evolving for me too. So it's kind of like, uh, I'll give you an example. Just over the past month, I have added on with uh, some hooks, like the little command hooks underneath my uh, acrylic wall storage and I started hanging my fire polish strands on the hooks and I really like that but I just I'm always changing and evolving and I mean we're always getting in new things and using things up so it's never just a static system so but I will yeah I, I would like to do more specific videos on organization because I think that's a topic that a lot of people struggle with you know it's it's something that we all need because we have so many different little pieces to keep track of and at the same time you don't want to forget what you have so here's some more flowers there we go I'm going to move some of these back in so you guys can get a little different view and I'm going to organize myself a little bit so that I can see some different things. So I'm going to scooch these over. There we go. Thank you so much, Dawn. I really appreciate that. I really do. I'm just so grateful to have you guys here. Uh, like I was saying earlier, I don't know anybody personally in my life that does any beating. So I don't have anybody else to really, uh, you know, collaborate with, show, show things finish pieces, check out these things with, get excited uh, about with. <laughs> Nobody else gets it in my life, really. You know, they'd be like, okay, cool. You know, try to be polite. Like, okay. You know, but it's not the same if you're into a certain hobby. Craft, you know, it's just, it's nice to have other people that are into it too that get it and can be excited about it. So... I can't get over these big pinch beads. Those are funny. Just because I was recently working with those. So it's like I'm used to the tiny little pinch beads. 
And then, like, those just massive ones were in here. That's pretty cool, though. Alright, I'm gonna look at the chat and see. <laughs> yes, Pat, I sure do. Oh, man. Yeah, I know. In an apartment. Yep, that's right, Maggie. That That is a challenge. And plus, with an apartment, you can't uh, do any more permanent solutions. So you'd have to be kind of looking for more temporary. I think it's great to use space that would normally go to waste. And I think that's why I like not to keep talking about the wall system. I just really like it for me personally. Um, but with with the wall system, I know that's something if you're in an apartment, uh, you have to be careful on how you hang something like that because you don't want to mess up the walls, all that good stuff. But, um, you know, walls, that space, it's a vertical space that may go unused. And so it's really nice to be able to utilize, utilize space like that because beads don't take up much room, but you want to be able to see them, you know, and that way you can see the beads and they're not in your path, you know, they're not taking up space in drawers or in, in other places that you, you know, would need the space more. And there's not much else you can do with the wall space. So, let's see. Um, oh yeah, the binder idea, that's right. That's right. Um, and I, I'd like to update that too at some point. There's so many things I'd like to do. Just, I just need more time, guys. I need more time. <laughs> um, but yeah, the binder idea. I did a video on that a while ago. And if you haven't seen that, look it up. But it's basically, you, you take a large binder. You can get the ones that zip up, too, if you want. And you get baseball card holders. And you can, you can organize like your specialty findings in there. You can organize ribbon and cord, you know, bits and pieces. Maybe you have uh, cabochons or just things like that. You can put them in the sleeves of the baseball card holders and then put those in a three ring binder. And I mean, it's just a binder, but think of how much you can store in that. So if you haven't seen that one, definitely check that one out too. Yeah. Harbor Freight. Hey, Mary Kay. That's awesome. Yeah, definitely everybody share your ideas too. Because I know everybody's full of lots of different ideas. I am going to wrap this up in just a couple minutes. I knew I probably wouldn't be able to get through this whole thing in an hour, especially with talking and all that other stuff, but it's been so much fun being able to hang out with you guys on this live, on this strange Saturday where a lot of us are kind of hanging around, and hopefully, you know, was able to keep you company a little bit. I know you guys kept me company while I was, while I was sorting through all this, so that was really nice, and, uh, like I mentioned, I'm going to try to condense this, the footage, into uh, a video that I normally do. But it, from the sound of it, I might have to just do it over. Because some of you guys are saying the sound is a little strange. So that wouldn't be good. So I apologize for that. I'll try to figure out what is going on and why there is an issue. Like I said, it is like silent as the grave in here like there's no background noise no buzzing no nothing so it has got to be something just with my phone I, I don't know we'll see so all right set these down I've got some other things over here let me show you the rest of what I got over here yeah there's a lot of piles with this one <laughs> a lot of piles this is not quite like the one that I did last month where I had just these triangles that were overflowing and there's just so many more little things in different types, which is fine. It just takes a little bit longer. So, hey, Sharon, I'm glad you could join. Hi, Debbie. 
Oh, egg cartons, egg cartons for storage. That's very interesting. <laughs> but yes, that plus cats. I'm just thinking about myself. I can be very clumsy and I would knock those over in a heartbeat. Oh my goodness. In fact, I just knocked over a big container of seed beads yesterday. Fortunately, it was all one color and fortunately it dumped on like my bead mat table area. But, oh man, I was like, really, why? Why am I so clumsy? <laughs> that would be a disaster. Yeah, I, I know. Scratchy sound. I don't know. I'm sorry. I appreciate you guys putting up with the uh, sound. I have no idea. So I'll have to look into it. Such is life. All right. Well, it is now 12.01. I'm going to have to definitely wrap it up. But hopefully this was a fun little distraction. We got to kind of hang out. And I tried really hard to keep up with as many of the comments as I could. I really appreciate you guys asking questions. Let me know what you're up to, where you're from, because that is just so much fun to be able to sort this with you guys instead of just sitting here by myself. You know, it was, it was fun. It was a nice change. So I really appreciate that. And yes, if you are interested in this, this is, of course, the Unicorn Mix, the one-pound check glass mix from dollarbeadbox.com. You do need to be a member or a subscriber. There is a coupon code for $5 off that I think might be good through tomorrow that somebody had listed five off of, sorry, I'm going to mess it up, five off 35. And you can scroll up in the chat to make sure I said that correctly. Uh, or you can use code ORCHID2 if that doesn't work or if you're watching this later and that will save you $2 off. And I will link to the one pound mix that I am sorting here down below, of course. And I will try to come back with the condensed version of all this too, if you want to see that and enjoy seeing a more cohesive look at everything that's inside since this has been kind of more casual and, you know, more piecemeal. That's okay, that's what we're doing here. So, all CC from Arkansas, awesome. Okay, yeah, Sue, five off 35, without the dollar signs, right? <laughs> it's up there in the chat, though. All right, well, thank you, guys. Thank you, CJ. I uh, appreciate you guys so much. I hope you're staying safe and well. I am so pleased that you all could join me, took time out of your day, and uh, just thank you for being here. So I will see you, see you guys again soon. I've got lots more coming. Like I mentioned, there's that pinch bead earring tutorial coming up in the next couple days. I also have a box from Bead Box Bargains. So I have gotten a shipment from them. I'll share that soon too. But lots more. You guys know I'm always up to something over here. So I'll be sharing again soon. And I will see you later. I hope everybody has a great Saturday. And the usual, happy beating.